Oh, hey, Landry. Are you driving that Jurassic Park Jeep around again? Yeah, we have a lot of stuff to do today. Hey, is that Claire with the yellow jacket riding shotgun? And is that the same Claire with the yellow jacket that comes packaged with a stegosaurus? That's the one, all right. And is that a Terracon riding in the back? Yep, we're best friends now. Anyway, we gotta get going. Let's see what we can find today. Oh wow, Landry, you just uncovered an Ankylosaurus. Pretty much my most favorite dinosaur. Ben! Uh-oh, gotta go. So we're finally looking at an Ankylosaurus today, so excited. I think there's been several requests for this one, including myself. And this might be the first herbivore Roarivore, right? Open box design. On the back of the box, large image of Ankylosaurus. Push button on back for sound and tail striking action. Really quite detailed dinosaur this one is. Plus other dinosaurs available. Let's open up, see how it looks like on a flat tabletop surface. Oh wow, look at Ankylosaurus outside of the package. Very sharp. Ankylosaurus looking great from all different rotations. Look at the spines going down her back. Very interesting how they produced that. Looks like an outer piece laying over the piece of spines. Very nicely done. How about that action feature? The tail even wiggles when you turn her. Let's press down, see what happens. It's got quite a kick to it. Good sound too, very loud. And unlike the other Roarivores that I've seen so far, this one just features the tail whipping instead of the mouth opening up and roaring. And of course, with many of the dinosaurs of Jurassic World, we can scan her foot for a cool code on our app here. Excuse my phone, it's been just destroyed lately. There we go. And there it is, the giant Ankylosaurus. Very nice little animation too. Showing off giant tail. What do we got for fun facts? The Ankylosaurus is 32 feet long, larger than an RV. A couple more locked. She eats as many plants each day as a modern elephant does. And finally, she has bones growing in her skin, a living armor. Very nice. As for articulation on her legs, I would say the front legs. We have rotation up on her top shoulders and on her back hip and in and out movement. So pretty good. You can place her in pretty good stances, mostly just kind of on all fours, flattening out. But that is a very impressive dinosaur toy. Good to see you indeed, Ankylosaurus. Landry, good work with the Ankylosaurus. What did you think? Oh, rats! I didn't get to see it. The reverse on this Jeep is awful. Well, let's try another one. My goodness, Landry, a Pteranodon. Nicely done. A flying, gliding Roarivore, too. On the back of the box, a great image to behold. Push button for sound and wing flapping action. Plus other dinosaurs available. Let us flap this one out of the package. and unleashed from package, a Pteranodon. Standing kind of funny, not the best flyer to stand on feet. Might be something good to get out the old fishing line with. But there we go with the Pteranodon. Look at that wingspan, pretty good. Probably a good 14 inches or so of wingspan, maybe a little more, maybe a little bit of less. Good paintwork down the wings, red, with kind of this cool scaly veiny thing going on in there. 
like that a lot. Kind of a turquoise dark blue body and a nice really cool pointy head. How about that action feature? Press down on back. There we go. Not getting much in the opening mouth department. Looks like it's just a uh, articulated uh, hinge there that you can open and close yourself. So most of the action feature is just in the wings and not in opening and closing the Roarvor's head. Oh, some rotation in the neck too, so you can kind of move it around. Very nice. And you can kind of fold these wings up too. But you're still going to have a little bit of a tough time standing this dinosaur, but a very cool looking Pteranodon indeed. Let's get this uh, scanner scanned. There's our flying Pteranodon inside an enclosure. What do we got for information? Her beak is a formidable piercing and scratching weapon. Her crest isn't for combat, but is simple for looking impressive. On land, she walks on all four legs. Well, in toy form, she walks on all four tummies. But very good, fun toy. I like this one. I just like the wingspan especially. It really kind of fills up the table. Very fantastic looking Roarvor. All right, Pteranodon. See you later. Really quite impressive. Very good find with that Pteranodon, Landry. What did you think about it, Terracon? <coughs> totally, right? Okay, Landry, find us something else. You got it! <coughs> Landry, what did you find this time? Landry, you didn't just find us a Roravore. You found us a Herrerasaurus. This one must be rare. I've never seen it before. On the back of the box, other dinosaurs available. Stiggy Moluck is out there as well, and another Velociraptor. I need to find that one. I think I even saw it just recently and forgot to pick it up. Drat. And then that Dimorphodon. Maybe we'll see them one day. All right, let's get this Herrerasaurus out of pack. And out of package, Herrerasaurus, which I know very little about, according to DinoDictionary.com, a bipedal carnivore. Found in northwest Argentina, Herrerasaurus is one of the earliest known dinosaurs, a primitive carnivore. Its jaws were double hinged to allow it to scoop large chunks of meat from its prey. Its skeleton was discovered headless, and it was 30 years before a skull specimen was found. That's gotta be fun. So there it is, the Herrerasaurus toy dinosaur. Looks like we have articulation in the jaw, in the neck, the arms, and hips. And let's scan her foot for a little more information. Gotta know more. This one in green. I think I like the red better. She is one of the earliest known theropod dinosaurs. Her hands end in a curved sharp claws for grasping prey. The Herrerasaurus lived in volcanic jungles with lots of rivers. That's a fun animation. Looks like she only has three toes there though. I guess Injun got a little lazy with the toes. Well, though, even though not a Roarivore, good to see today. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, Landry, you're doing awesome today, finding us some great Roarivore dinosaurs. Can you find one more? You got it. Ah, squirrels can only drive so well, right? And Landry, way to finish, you found us a Ceratosaurus. Very cool, always one of my favorites. 
at least from my Jurassic Park Zoo game on my old phone. And this Ceratosaurus is a very pretty Rorivore with a very bright red head and back with a very bright yellow body with some black tiger striping going on. Very nice. On the back of the box, a worthy image of the Ceratosaurus. Push button for sound and chomping action, plus other Rorivores available. Let's take advantage of that nose horn and get her out of package. Some assembly required with the Ceratoris, but she's out of the package and standing, sort of. A little bit top heavy by her head. She wants to constantly fall forward when I have her legs flat right now. Oof. Oh, there we go. I think I've got it. A little bit challenging on that stand. Again though, a very pretty roar of war. Probably the most striking in the series that I have seen so far. This is something I wish to see more from the Jurassic World dinosaurs, is brighter colors, especially on screen. They're always so dull. With today's digital wonders, we should be able to see some more brightly colorful dinosaurs. They would stand out so much better. Anyway, let's check out the roar of war effect. I love how loud these are. So sounding like some dinosaur growling and some possibly eating of the bone and flesh. Very nice effect. And different from the last three Rorivores I looked at from the previous video, the Ceratoris has her mouth closed and then opens when pressed. Oh, she's gonna fall. Which is so much more preferred to have that mouth closed and then open when yelling. It was kind of strange how it was the opposite. Oh, she's dead. Injun can only take care of so many dinosaurs, I suppose. Let's scan her foot, though. And this one's very reminiscent of the image and toy. What do we got here? She is about 21 feet long, like a medium-sized swimming pool. She is carnivorous, feeding on living dead dinosaurs. The name Ceratoris means horned lizard. Try to get her to stand again for a moment. Oh, jeez. If it wasn't for this one being so difficult to stand, I would say it's my favorite Rorivore to date, but because of the unbalancing, I think I'll stick with Baryonyx. But still a very fun Rorivore to behold. Let the debate begin on what that horn on her head is for. Seria later, Sarah Torosaurus. Okay. Well, Landry, thank you for the very entertaining Rorivore dinosaur run through today. It was fun to see some more Rorivores. And Claire back there, you've been pretty quiet. This is involuntary. Someone find Owen quick. Ah. Gather around. Jurassic World Rorivores and Kylosaurus, Pteranodon, and Ceratoras are on store shelves. Summer 2018, they run approximately 15 apiece. The smaller dinosaur figures, such as the Herrerasaurus, they run under 10. If you're looking for more lively Rorosauruses to roar up the collection, these three dinosaurs are perfect to join in the fun. However, if you're looking for something really big, rumors of a Spinosaurus may be around the corner. That's what I have to say about that. The Jurassic Squirrel Livores were so loud, they caused an asteroid to deviate and crash into the Earth. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. Does that make you happier, son? No, it didn't help at all. Push button for sound and tail strength and hips. Whoopie doopie doo.
just ran over your winch. <laughs>